Uh, good morning, folks. Uh, my name is AJ. Uh, it's currently uh, just about to be quarter to six o'clock in the morning on January 18th, 2019, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I hope you all are having a good morning or a good night, depending on where you're at. Uh, I come to you because I wanted to talk to you about something that has been on my mind for the past few days, and I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on it. Now, keep in mind, uh, what I'm about to read to you, I did write myself, mostly because I wanted to stay on topic, and uh, definitely didn't want to deviate too much from the topics at hand. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual harassment. Masculinity. Do these things sound familiar? They should. These things are the first three statements that come out of a video by a major company, and it has been deemed controversial by the general public, as is a lot of things these days. What is the name of the video? It's called We Believe, The Best a Man Can Be. Sorry, The Best Man Can Be. And it is made by a company that we all know, and we have all used their products for over 100 years. The company's name? Gillette. The company that makes razors that men and women use to shave. The company that has been around since 1901. The video itself highlights some major talking points that we as a society have not really talked about. Or that a majority of men in our country, or even our world. The line itself that has been there for so long is something that men do not want to cross. Because they believe that once they cross that line, there is no going back for themselves as men. They feel that they will lose their power that they have built up over the years, and that they will lose their manhood in the process of going over that line. There's also bullying. There's the unwanted sexual advances that men have made towards women, and those unwanted sexual advances can turn dangerous for the women involved. There is even the fact that men get paid more than women do. These things that I just mentioned, are they only scratch the surface of what men do. And these things are just one of the few needs that need to be addressed when it comes to how we as men act and how it affects our boys' lives. It is sad that we as a society cannot talk about these things that men do because they mostly get pushed under the rug. Now, I always hear the same excuses. Boys will be boys. Men have needs too. His future will be ruined if these things come to light. Blame the women that dress provocatively. Those are just a few of the excuses that I hear coming out of people's mouths when they try to defend men's actions. Now, you'll hear it coming from the mother's mouths the majority of the time, though. Now you'll, And you'll also, hear, you'll also occasionally hear it coming from the father's mouths. But it is not all that often unless they really want to see their son succeed. Now, how do we, uh, as men, change the way that women view us? We can start that change by changing how we view women, not just for ourselves, but for the future generations of men that are currently boys, or have yet to be born. We can teach them how to respect women, how to treat women, how to appreciate a woman, and we can do that just by changing how we act towards women ourselves. Why should we as men be the ones to start this? Because our boys will eventually become men, and our boys look to the man that is in their lives for guidance, and they will act as their fathers do. That brings me to my next point. How do we as men hold other men accountable for their actions that are wrong on so many levels? When we are out in public and we hear or see men talking sexually about a woman, a woman, most of these men do not even know these women. They just view them as eye candy, and they consider that woman to be a prize to wield just for a night. You have these frat boys in college who have these traditions that have been in place for as long as people can remember. Granted, not all fraternities throughout our country are like that, but there are some fraternities that are like that, and it places a bad image, not just on the fraternity itself. But it's also placing a bad image over men as a whole. It is an image that men such as myself are trying to mend in order to show women that not all men are like that. 
It is extremely hard considering the fact that men as a whole are constantly placed in a, black, in a bad light because of the actions of a few bad apples. Now, I never gave you an answer to the question that I asked everyone. How do we as men hold other men accountable for their actions that are wrong on so many levels? We start by telling the truth when another man that we know has done something so wrong that it even makes us sick to our stomach. There are plenty of examples that I could give you, but ultimately, if you know that your bro has done something despicable and he tells you not to say anything about it, you should do the exact opposite of what he says and say something about it. Otherwise, he will just get away with it and it will probably to most likely happen again. We as men can change the way that women view us. We as men can hold other men accountable for their actions. And we as men can be the example that needs to be set for future generations of men. But it starts with all of us making the first move to be able to bring about the change that has been needed for so long. And that change sets in motion something that will hopefully make the bad die out. We should not have to worry about whether or not that young man is treated a woman with a respect and dignity, dignity that she deserves. We should not have to worry about whether or not that little boy is bullying someone in school. But most of all, we should not have to worry about whether or not that man is holding his brother in arms accountable for his actions. All of those things we should not have to worry about should automatically be the right thing. Yes, I will treat that woman with respect. No, I do not bully anyone in school. Yes, I made sure to hold my brother in arms accountable for the wrongdoings that he committed. It is time that us men make a change, and that change needs to start right now. You can be the change right now. Do not be scared. Do not be afraid. Do not hesitate. Do what needs to be done in order to make a better future for the boys slash men and the girls slash women of tomorrow. Women can also do the same thing that men are doing if you are living as a single mother. Be the change that your children need. Be the change they deserve. Thank you all for watching, and please make sure to share my video if you found it helpful and informative. I hope you all enjoy yourselves, and I will talk to you later. Peace.